Ever see a celebrity in the airport or a train? Well, artist Ellen Grossman bumped into a very famous musician the other day on the New York City subway and didn't even know it. Take a look. Joining us now is Ellen Grossman, the woman who didn't recognize Jay-Z on the subway. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Hi. How are you doing? This has been an amazing few days for you, I'm sure. I mean, you've been everywhere talking <laughs> about this. Yes. It is overwhelming. Is it really? Let, let, me, let me ask you a question. What were you thinking about when you saw all the people and the cameras on the subway? What did you think was going on? Uh, my first reaction when that surge of people came on to a fairly empty subway car was, there's been a disaster upstairs. <laughs> and then uh, there was great relief when I saw they were laughing and taking pictures of this one guy and um, just in a great mood, and, uh, which is why I, I then thought that it perhaps was a flash mob. <laughs> <laughs> so your first thought was flash mob. Right. Second thought, okay, this might no, be okay. First, first thought was disaster. Second thought was flash mob. Which is why I asked if he was famous. Uh, and um, I knew that he really was sincere when he said he was, that it wasn't a put on. Yeah. 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 What was your impression of him when you, when you got to talk to him? Oh, he's genuine. He's, mm -hmm. He was really present. He was paying attention to me. Uh, he, ultimately, he didn't mind that I didn't know who he was. I think he thought it was funny and uh, maybe even a relief to meet one person in the whole world who didn't know who he was. <laughs> Have people been teasing you about that, not knowing who Jay-Z was? Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Everybody, we all have a sense of humor about it, so. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now Jay-Z was on a subway as part of a documentary. Uh, how do you feel about being in the documentary? You are now going to be the face and the name of the person who didn't recognize Jay-Z on the subway, for everybody who sees that documentary. Okay, that should be mildly embarrassing, <laughs> but I've gotten over being embarrassed and I'm having fun with it. And I think the whole world is. And I think the, the, what the world need in, with all the ba bad economy, et cetera, et cetera, was a light story that some old lady who didn't know Jay-Z. And it makes for, it's a great story. Part yeah. of why it's a great story, though, is because of who you are. I mean, you have a great personality, you're very nice, you're kind, and, and like Jay-Z, you're also very genuine. Otherwise, the story could have gone a whole different way. I really enjoyed talking with him, and, and that was where I was at on the subway. And actually, I saw the cameras around us. I didn't dream that I would not be cut from the footage. Um, I didn't think I'd be part of it. You, that. Think, you thought that you were going to get cut out? That's amazing. Sure. You're, you're, the, you're like the best part of it, other than actually the concert itself. Oh, the like concerts the were gorgeous. I mean, I've, I've obviously seen the whole thing. And they, they just energized me. That They were amazing. Wow. Yeah. So have you become a bigger Jay-Z fan now that you've... Uh... It, it has to be bigger than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, but yes, I am a big fan at this point. I think the music is phenomenal, the message, the words, um, who he is and what he's doing in the world. Right, and, and that's saying something coming from you because you're an artist yourself. Thank you, yes. And, and have, have people taken more notice to your work? Oh, and how, yeah. Yeah, it has, I am very pleased that it's driven quite a lot of traffic to my website and um, hopefully to when I show. Oh, now, what type, what type of art do you do? What, what, what type of stuff do you do? I'm assuming it's not rap. You're right. It's not, it's not rap. Okay. I use spray paint. Okay. okay. Close, let's close. You're, you're in the Somebody, genre. So, well, not really. Somebody heard I was using spray paint, and they were terribly um, disappointed that I'm not tagging with it. <laughs> we'll get you started. Right. Jay-Z's the first up. Now we'll get you tagging right. next up. Um, my son did tag when he was a teenager. Oh, really? Yeah. Really yeah. kind of a, you know, there's that whole Basquiat connection. I mean, it, it could actually work out. It could be awesome. Yeah. But, what, but you're doing interesting stuff with spray paint, and you actually have a, a show coming up. I have a show that's up right now. I'm, I'm one artist in 36, so it's a big group show. And um, should I say where it is? Yeah, sure, you can yeah, say where it is. Yeah, it's at Denise Bibro Gallery. It's at 529 West 20th Street, 
fourth floor if you get there. Okay. Now, we're going to put that in the resource well. So my producer is going to um, put that in the resource well. So everyone who's in the New York area, the New Jersey area, or anyone who wants to travel to see Ellen Grossman, come check out her show as well. Before I go, some people are asking, or some people are saying that, you know, Jay-Z riding on the subway to Bar the Barclay Center was a kind of cheap stunt. Did you, did you get that sense? I had the sense that he was, uh, he obviously doesn't do that all the time and can't. I mean, the amount of attention he gets is extreme. Yeah. Um, I think he was trying to highlight the idea that you could get there by subway. Yeah. You know, that, that it's located in a place with mass transit and you can do that. Yeah, I, th I, th I think it's a good idea. I thought it was valid. I, I, I yeah. do too, but I'm a Jay-Z fan. Before I let you go, I have to just see just where you are on the celebrity recognition scale. Because there, there are some questions about this, so I'm gonna start. Now this test gets progressively harder, okay? So here's the first one. Okay, President Obama. Okay, that's good. Yep. Just, just, it's just a warm up, just to see where you are. Well, that was easy. That was easy. How about Bar this one? Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand, two for two. Okay, when I was young, I was mistaken for her in a restaurant. Okay, see, that, that's, yeah. that's memorable. That's that was memorable. I was not her, though. <laughs> You're even better. You're Ellen Grossman. <laughs> She's two for two, ladies and gentlemen. Two for two. All right, it's getting a little harder now. I don't know who that is. You is don't it, know who this is. Wait, is it Bieber? Justin? No. Yes, that's oh, it. Okay. Justin, okay. Well, hold on. Will we allow that? She said Bieber, Justin. Oh, I know. The, the committee I... says yes. <laughs> three for three. <laughs> All right. How about this one? Nope. No? You are very lucky. That's Kanye West. Uh-huh. That's Kanye West. But he's going to be mad at me now. You said what? Is he going to be mad at me now? He is going to be mad at you, but Jay-Z will be happy because I think Jay-Z would be very upset if you knew who Kanye West was and not him. So you may have just dodged a bullet there. <laughs> and lastly, any, 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 any chance at all? Oh, God. Yeah, I could make some good, wild guesses, but can't, can't do it. That is... Two chains. All right. All I want for my birthday. Anyway, I'll tell you the rest of the song later. But <laughs> okay. you, not knowing two chains is actually a good thing. Yeah. You knew Streisand, you knew Obama, you knew Bieber. You didn't get Kanye, but you, and you didn't get two chains, which is a plus. So I'm going to give you four out of five on the celebrity recognition scale. What a relief. You win. Can I get a high five? There sure. we go. Ellen Grossman, ladies and gentlemen, also known forevermore as the woman who didn't recognize Jay-Z but she's awesome in her own right. She spent some time with us here at HuffPost Live. Make sure you do too. The conversation never stops.